now. An 800-year-old landmark in York, described by experts as one of the country's most important buildings, reopens to the public this weekend after a multi-million pound refurbishment. Clifford's Tower was once the seat of royal power for Northern England, as John Maguire reports. First built by William the Conqueror, there's been a castle on this site in York for almost a thousand years. During that time, its story has been touched by tragedy, comedy and royalty. This was, for long periods of history, a place where the North was governed from, certainly where Yorkshire was governed from and sometimes where England was governed from. It has a very, very long, very eventful, sometimes tragic history. The stone tower, built for Henry III in the 13th century, is the largest remaining part of York Castle. Hundreds of years in all weathers, sun and snow, just like today, have taken their toll. So to conserve the walls, every single stone has been tested as part of the major conservation works here. You can see the pink stone there, yeah. and the pink is actually fire damage from the catastrophic fire that occurred in 1684. These walkways, part of the £5 million project, will offer visitors views not seen since the floors were destroyed by that major fire when a ceremonial cannon salute for St George's Day went horribly wrong. And they also allow access to some fascinating stories. Welcome to the smallest room in the tower. This is the garderobe, to give it its proper name, a toilet, a latrine built for Henry III. The most extraordinary thing about it, it's a flushing toilet, flush with rainwater down this channel, fed by a tank on the roof, apparently predating other flushing toilets by around three centuries. Along with the stories contained inside the tower, you can now walk above it. Let's show you one of the best bits. Come off the suspended walkway, up the original stone stairs, many of which have been restored. These new ones at the top to bring you onto this incredible roof deck with a panoramic view of York. And look at that, York Minster in the distance, really spectacular and stunning. Daffodils planted on the mound commemorate one of the tower's most tragic events, the massacre of around 150 Jewish people who sought refuge here in 1190 at a time of violent anti-Semitism. So much history, so many stories to tell, and once again, there's an audience to hear them. John McGuire, BBC News, York.